Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jay. I make music production tutorials on YouTube, in Cubase and FL Studio. So consider subscribing, click that post notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. So today I decided to share with you guys this brand new compressor on the market called the T Compressor. So I'm going to be showing you exactly how it works, some of the amazing functions that I like about the compressor and how I used it on this project right here to get some smooth sounding vocals so let's just get into it the compressor comes with a very simple and easy to use interface on top here you are able to switch between the meter and the graph and then down here it comes with four different modes you've got clean crisp warm and thick clean mode right here is a more transparent mode which is suitable for any type of instrument any type of vocals the crisp adds a little bit of brightness to your vocals or whatever instrument that you want to use this compressor on and then warm adds a little bit of tube saturation to your vocals making them get that warmth feel thick processes your vocal in a way that it boosts or gives life to some of those quieter sections of your vocal sample by simply clicking here you can switch between slow and fast attack also release you can switch between fast and slow right there this fader right here is for the threshold then you've got the compression as you push it like that it also changes the attack and the release to help you find the suitable point for your compression and then down here this is the side chain section on this side you've got the mix between the dry and the wet so you can simply change the percentage according to what you want down here you can switch between input output or auto gain so this is more like the makeup gain another amazing feature about this plugin is that let's say for example you're somebody like me i like to use at least two compressors on the same vocal chain one to help me catch the peaks and another one to smoothen a little bit of um, my vocals just to compact them so instead of opening another instance of a compressor so that you have two in there you can can simply open another one just here and treat them separately so what i'll be doing here will be different from what i'll be doing on the other compressor but on the same plugin so now that we've talked about the features so let me show you how i used this compressor in my mix right here i first start with one compressor set the attack to fast set the release to fast i'm just going to push the threshold down until i see some kind of reasonable reduction and then i'll move on to the compression here until i find a good spot Then I'll push the compression knob here. So that sounds like a good point for me and then I'll move on and add another compressor but this time I'm going to set the mode to warm and slow attack and uh, slow release. So let me push the threshold down here and do the same for this one. Back up when I want it, could you shot calling? 